Hi, my name is Brigitta and I'm from For Your Head Hat Blocks. I want to thank you for joining me on this uh, second part of the series on how to make a wet felted hat. Okay, so we've just added our decorative uh, sixth layer and now we're ready to start the wet felting process. So I have a uh, simple squeeze bottle. It's filled up with warm water and I've just put a squirt of um, dish soap in there. That's what we're going to use to uh, wet down the felt. So I'm going to be starting around the edge. I want to get the whole thing saturated. whole thing we need to saturate. So I'm just going to gently press the roving together. I want to make sure every piece is wet. Just got a little bit more water here. Don't quite have enough water in this yet. Just gonna wet it down again. Keep wetting down any dry parts that you see. Good. And you might need to put a little bit of soap on your hands at some point. And then just keep pressing. Press water to all the fibers. Good, you should be able to see the fibers where they're not adhering. Add a little bit more. You can actually start to feel <clears throat> the edges of your resist pattern and you want to blend in the seams as best you can. Don't Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, now I'm going to just check the other side and we're going to continue on with the same process. Take a look at what it looks on this side, see if there's any folds or uh, things we need to work on. No, that's looking really good. Okay, so I've turned it over uh, several times and I am just have been uh, keeping on 
uh, patting it. Uh, I can be a little bit uh, more a little bit more aggressive because the fibers are uh, adhering together. They're not pulling up under my fingers. Um, I'm making sure that I'm getting the uh, seams uh, as flat as I can uh, so they won't be visible when we uh, take the form out and put it on the block. So um, I'm just going to keep on doing this uh, until I find that the um, roving uh, is uh, shrinking a little bit and there's a little bit of uh, buckling. Uh, that means it's time to uh, change uh, the process of what we're going to be doing. But I'm just going to keep doing this until I feel there's a consistency uh, in, in the material. Um, Okay. Okay, so I've been uh, patting uh, and pushing together for about a uh, half an hour. I've been flipping it over, doing the same thing, uh, pressing the seams together. So <clears throat> I have a good uh, consistency of the material and all the fibers are adhering. Got the edges as tight as I can and uh, it's fitting the form. I can be a little bit more aggressive now. So I'm going to be putting this other mesh on top and I'm going to do the same thing, compressing, squeezing. Again, it's all to adhere the fibers. want to check on it, make sure that you're not pulling anything up. That looks good. It can be a little bit more aggressive as well. You could start rolling it. To see what that looks like. Oh, it's a little bit, maybe a little bit too delicate for that now still. Okay, so pressing, agitating, Okay, so it's starting to feel uh, nice and tight. I'm just going to check it here. Alright, looks like it's all adhering well together. And so now I'm going to be slightly more aggressive. So I'm going to start rolling. Still very delicate, you can't uh, squeeze it uh, too hard, you've got to be gentle. But now I'm going to agitate it in a different way. But it still feels like it's too delicate for you to handle it that way. Other cloth back on. Pick up both cloths and you can roll it together. Okay, so it's looking really good and it's feeling uh, nice and tight. And um, like I said, now's the time where you can be a little bit more aggressive in your agitation and you want to go in each direction so the fibers are all nicely matted and you don't get any folds
And now I can start to feel again that the uh, felting on top is getting nice and tight and it's causing the resist underneath to buckle a little bit. And that's telling me that it's time to take the resist out. And how we're going to do that is by cutting along the edge. Take out the resist. Great, so that we can reuse. Okay, we have our hat form here. Now we want to try and soften out these seams a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to fold the hat in another orientation. And we're going to keep rolling. So now we're going to try and roll out those seams if there's any bulk in them. Spread them out. So you see how we can still see where the edge is. So we want to now soften that out. Open that up a little bit. Try and break any of the fibers in here that have maybe adhered and are causing this little ridge. Looks good here. Just along the sides. So um, you can, as I started to, try and roll out these edges like this, following the line all the way along. But we can also use an agitator. Great, so I've been working uh, this hat for a little while. And I've got another different agitator here to show you. Uh, it's a vase again. Uh, it's got uh, lots of uh, bumps on it. And um, it's got a nice broad area that's really going to uh, help uh, cover more area when you're trying to agitate uh, a seam out or the whole material. So that seam that we had um, Previously, you can still see it here a little bit, but this uh, is going to help again soften uh, soften that up. So I can use this over the whole hat. Again, it's just creating more surface area, more agitation. Get nicely into the top and the corner there, apex. So here you can also roll up your material and your other piece of the underlayment is what I'm using and start rolling. going to do that. Again, you need to change the orientation of the material inside to get it equal, just to make it more equal. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to now uh, take this over to the sink and uh, rinse some of the soap out of it uh, in as hot water as I can tolerate. That's going to speed up the shrinking process uh, so it will be the right size so we can put it over our block. I'm going to go do that now. Okay, so I wrung the hood out and I'm just going to keep agitating it a little bit. You can see now, it's still the same shape as the form we made, roughly. So 
tool. Got a little bit of soap in there. That helps with the agitation. That's looking pretty good. Okay, that's what we've come up with. So I'm going to take it to the sink one more time. I'm going to rinse it out again in very hot water. And then we're going to come back and uh, try to stretch it onto our hat block. Um, see you in a minute. Okay, so I've rinsed my uh, hat here in very hot water. Uh, and I've squeezed out as much moisture as I can. Now while it's still warm, I'm going to be stretching it over this block. So. Uh, I did cover the block in plastic uh, just to protect the block, but so we got it on the crown. And now what we're going to do is stretch it over the form. Um, this is where a bit of strength comes in. Good. I've stretched it completely over the form. And now I'm going to tuck it in, make it conform to the shape of the block. fitting in nicely. Um, this is where my agitators can also come in a little bit handy because they're going to help me really get into the shape of the brim. See I'm smoothing it down a little bit. So it's helping it conform to the orientation of the block. So, okay, so we've got it stretched over, we're absorbing a little bit of the water where we can. And now we're going to attach uh, our string line. Uh, if you can remember, this block has a groove in it. Uh, we're going to be following the groove with this little rope. That's going to help again the form adhere to the shape of the hat. Um, slip knot is supposed to work. I don't know how to do a slip knot, so um, I'm just going to tie it here. So make sure it's in the groove and we stretch it over. Good. Okay, so there's some curves in this uh, form and while the hat's drying it's going to shrink. I want the hat to form with the shapes of these curves in it. So uh, what I'm going to do is add some weighted structures, these are the sandbags I was talking about, um, into the grooves of the hat. So I'm going to add into the brim, pack it in there, and I think I'll put this one on top, push it right into the form. Two. 
that's going to conform to the shape of the, of the brim and the crown. Okay, so basically we've completed uh, the blocking uh, on the hat form and now we just have to wait for the hat to dry. Okay, we've been uh, waiting patiently for our hat to dry. Uh, I've left, left this for uh, four or five days, but it really just depends on the temperature. And now we're ready to take the hat off the form. Okay, so it's as simple as uh, taking off your rope. Good. And here we have the hat. Uh, take it off the form. So what we need to do now, <clears throat> we'll be cutting along this groove where the string line was and then I'll be uh, hemming that over. But that's the start of a nice looking hat.